here, Sarge. Yeah, you think you're here, Prof. Not much to look at, is it? Is it like a recon pod or something? Am I here to trank or treat, Sarge? I don't get it. Is it even ours? Well, it sure as hell isn't Covenant. It's human, but that doesn't mean it's friendly. Don't get sloppy. So much for a highly classified, top-secret hush-hush location. That's a civilian pod. McCraw, look alive. Help me with the stretcher. Life support is still online, sir. We've got a live one here. Step on up, Clarence. Sing, get your team all clear. Sleeping Beauty here is a stranger. Fenty, get your weapon out and your head out of your ass. Treat us hostile until proven otherwise. Damn! I've gotta be going. Woo, smells like shit, Sarge. Thank you for your thoughtful analysis, McCraw. Is he? Don't no let him get me! <laughs> Get him out of there, people. Come on, McCraw, help me out here. Don't let them take me! Oh, please, don't let them take me! There. He's stable. Can he talk? Yeah, he can talk. For however long he has left. See that? A prisoner. From where? You're safe now. You're Marines. <laughs> UNSC, right? What's your name? What ship are you from? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where we are. <laughs> what is the name of your ship? <laughs> the Moni Lisa. <laughs> The what? The Mona Lisa. <laughs> you don't know, do you? You don't know. I don't know because you're not telling me. Tell me and we'll get you to the infirmary and get you some sleep. What is your name? <laughs> I tell you all kinds of things. I know. I'm dying. I know. But that, that's okay. It's okay. Because I won't come back. I'm clean. Can't come back. <laughs> what do you mean you won't come back? What do you mean you won't come back? Come back from what? Come back from what? left of it at least not even sure why we're here they claim it's for recon and recovery 
and we've spent the last three days scouring through the debris field. But for what? What are they looking for? At ease, Sergeant. Anything new to report? No, sir. What about you, Rebecca? The pod was launched six hours ago from the Mona Lisa, a prison transport. I backtracked and calculated the ship's proximate location at the time of the launch, as well as where it should be right now. These are the coordinates? Yes, sir. And I'm guessing we didn't pick this ship up because of the debris. That is correct, Commander. This is a typical schematic for a ship of this type. They're converted freighters for transporting prisoners and ore between colonies. The bridge is situated here, at the top. The prison cells are down below near the hangar. Most prison ships have minimal defenses and firearms on board as a precaution against a riot. They typically rely on an escort in those situations. But the Mona Lisa doesn't appear to have one. At least not anymore. What would a prison transport be doing at the most significant alien discovery of the past 20 years? That I can't tell you, sir. Because you don't know, of course. A random slipspace jump to evade the Covenant? That'd be quite the coincidence. What do you think, Sergeant? I'm not paid to think, sir. <laughs> Was there anything else he said? Anything at all that could give us context? He just kept saying that he was safe and that he wouldn't come back. Delusions. Brought on by dehydration and his injuries, no doubt. I'm inclined to finish the post-mortem, stow the body, and carry on with our mission. Might I ask what exactly our mission is, Commander? What are we doing out here, sir? What the Commander means is that he wants you to take a squad out to the ship and investigate. Is that what I mean, Rebecca? You're new on this ship, so I'll excuse you this time. But do not state your assumptions as fact. Yes, sir. She is, however, correct. Rebecca will coordinate from here. Take a pelican out there and find out what the hell's going on. Yes, sir. Good luck, Sergeant. Dismissed. You know more than you've told me. We have our orders, Commander. Do you know what's on that ship? I don't like being kept in the dark, especially when it comes to deploying my troops. It's only recon, sir. Our original mission was only recon. How'd that end up for us? We're at war, Commander. Reach has fallen. Our backs are against the wall. Extreme measures are necessary to ensure our survival. Is that all we're fighting for now? Survival. Coming up, front and center, Sarge. Trying to raise her now. 10-4, Burgundy. All right, folks, introductions, since some of us are strangers. Up in the front, Burgundy's got the wheel, and Rabbit's riding shotgun. That tough-looking son of a bitch on the end there is Clarence. Next to him is the good Dr. Venti. Then Singh is providing tech, and on the end is McCraw, who's new, as you can see. Then we have Orlov providing intel, and Mahmoud, Sartikos, Gersten, and Cranker offering field support. I'm Sergeant Lopez, and as of right now, you will all report to me. We clear? This was the team. My rosary beads. 
each and every one. And I'm already counting them and hating myself for doing it. This is bullshit. Beeks? What's the word? She's not answering on any frequency, Sarge. Can't get a peep out of her. No distress beacon. She's cold. And I don't think her engines have been running for a while. She ain't pretty either. Not by half. I'd never date her. How'd the postmortem go? Ask Sardikos. He did the autopsy, and then they put him on the mission. No. I want to hear it from you. Nasty wounds. Whatever it was that opened him up wasn't a blade. It took a hell of a lot of force to do that kind of damage. With what? Not sure. I'm guessing that when you're breaking out of prison, you use whatever you can get your hands on. It was a prison riot, right? Doesn't matter. You honestly expect some punk-ass jailbird to get a shiv in one of us? You doubt in the core, Private? It was one hell of a shiv, sir. This is the UNSC Red Horse. Do you copy, Sergeant? This is Lopez, Rebecca. I copy. Signal strength is weak, Sergeant. We picked up a Covenant ship in the vicinity. Distant, but we have to tread carefully. The Commander has ordered that we maintain as much contact with your crew as possible. But we mustn't reveal ourselves. You may be on your own for a while. You have your orders, Sergeant. Roger that. Check in with Burgundy once we're on board and see if I can patch you in. How did he even get out here? They just happened to randomly guess the slip space coordinates? I mean, we don't even know where we are, and we're supposed to be here. Don't try to be smart, McCraw. It's not what you're paid for. No, they pay us to be pretty. Damn right. They pay us to be pretty and to shoot straight. So tighten up, folks. What do we get for being pretty, Sarge? You kids play your cards right. We'll all get some shore leave when this is done. Don't ever say Mama Lopez does nothing for you. Docking override in progress. Hang tight, folks. Come on, Marines. Get your heads on straight and move out. Cranker, up periscope. Tell us what you see. Uh, looks all clear. Marine Corps. Identify yourselves immediately. Marines, report. 
We have four dead coveys here. We got two, Sarge. Or love? No. No sign of the crew either. What's the status? Interesting outfit the Covenant are running here. No weapons, no gear. You think they're running out of money? Maybe we can buy them out? Shut it, McCraw. Where's Rabbit? Rabbit! Report in! She was with me. We wasted that dog over there, and then she said she heard something. Burgundy, you've got a lovely way with words. Talk to me. Sorry, Sarge. Can't raise the red horse right now. And this ship smells. I mean, it really smells. Keep trying. Seal it up and sit tight. 10-4. Cranker, you're on guard duty. Stay with Burgundy. Yes, sir! The rest of us are going rabbit hunting. Move out! Well, I think this color suits me. <laughs> really brings out your eyes. I got lead. You take the rear, Bendy. Small arms fires or plasma burns either. Maybe the Covenant really are running out of money. Craw, one more lame joke out of you, and I'll push you out the next airlock. Rabbit, copy. Rabbit! Sure. Cranker, Covey's coming your way. They may be armed. Copy? I copy. Ready and waiting. Ugh, Sarge, what are you doing? How about you do something useful and give me some light, damn it? What the hell? You recognize this, Benty? Never seen it before. It's not from an elite, and it sure as hell isn't human. Cranker, talk to me. Cubby's never showed, Sarge. Wait a second. Oh my god! What? Cranker! Call it out! God! I'm not sure what I'm seeing. It's too dark. And Cranker's flashlight is just lying on the floor. <laughs> oh, shit. Sarge, something just dragged one of the Covey corpses down the hall. Something? Like what? Something big. Something really big. Do they eat their own? Because that's what it looks like. Beaks, focus. Where is Cranker? Sarge, I'm telling you, I don't see him anywhere. This is the UNSC Red Horse. Do you copy? Red Horse, this is Burgundy. We copy. I have the sergeant online, and I'm patching you through. Sergeant Lopez, what have you found? No sign of crew or prisoners yet. One KIA and one missing possible KIA. Unknown number of Covenant forces on board. They're acting really strange. Not sure how they got here, but they have no armor or weapons. I've never seen anything like this before. That is all you've found, Sergeant? You mean other than the Covenant being on a civilian transport in the middle of a highly classified location? Other than them acting incredibly strange? We heard you, Sergeant. Requesting reinforcements to aid with this mission. Request denied. I want to talk to the Commander. Sergeant, the Commander and I are of the same mind. Requesting... Negative. Sorry, Sergeant. We can't send anyone without alerting the Covenant ship of our presence. You know we're outmanned and outgunned. If they caught wind of our location, we wouldn't last a second against that thing. I'm invoking the Cole Protocol. The secrecy of Earth's location is paramount. The Mona Lisa does appear to be compromised by the Covenant. Ascertain if the Covenant have accessed the Mona Lisa's nav data. If not, destroy it. We will inform you when it is safe for you to return. Sir, I'm down two already, as far as I know. 
We can keep going, shut down the nav, and flush out every cubby bastard on this boat, but begging your pardon? It's a big-ass boat. I need more men. Negative, Sergeant. You have your orders, and I trust you'll see them through in your usual, spectacular fashion. Permission to speak freely, sir? Denied. You're speeding now. You're breaking up. You have your orders. Are they gone, Burgundy? Yes, Sarge. Sit tight, Beaks. Patch them through when they come back online. Otherwise, just keep an eye out for Cranker. Yeah, surely, right, Sarge? Damn straight. Over and out. You heard. Change of plans here, boys and girls. We've got Coveys on board, so our fearless commander has evoked the Cold Protocol. We need to kill the nav systems. That's our primary goal. Ascertaining what the hell is going on here is now a secondary objective. Orlov, you've got that rough schematic? Online. All right. Benti. You take Clarence, Orlov, Gersten, and Sardikos. You're going after the backup in the engine room. Once you've confirmed the nav data hasn't been compromised, get your asses back here. You see any cubbies along the way, you kill cubbies. I don't care if they're happy to see you or not. None of them get off the ship. Got it? Yes, sir. Fall out, Marines. Not one of these bastards has any gear at all. All the better for us. How'd the Covenant get on board this ship, Sarge? I don't know, McCraw. Maybe it's because we take so many Covenant prisoners. Let's get our shit together and get to the bridge. Not gonna budge. What the hell was that? Just the ship, probably. <laughs> yeah, right. Hang on, I'll find another route. Okay, we need to backtrack should be able to access the lower level over from the last intersection. It'll take us through the recycling plant. All right, let's move, people. Ah, it hurts, Sarge. Quit your yelping. You a man or a mouse? It burns. How the hell did you get this, anyway? got caught on a hook in the cargo hold. Poor little mousy. Be glad that Mama Lopez is looking out for you. Sing, what's the deal with this? I've seen this before. It's the opposite of a cell, a safe room. You can only open them from the inside. In case the prisoners get out? Exactly. McCraw! No, let him. Anyone home? This is Sergeant Lopez of the UNSC Red Horse. UNSC? Yours truly. How do I know you're really UNSC? You can either take my word for it, or I can prove it to you. One of these is the fun option, but not for you. I'd hate to take away your fun. You got ten seconds. And then we blow the house down. Identify yourself. Dr. John Smith, Chief Medical Officer of the transport ship Mona Lisa. You can lower your weapons. You didn't even say please. Please? Yeah, please. We've got bigger guns. I am not the enemy. Lower your weapons. How do you end up in this room? What happened? What do you think happened? A ship like this. Only one thing can happen. Prisoners broke out, overwhelmed the guards, and took over the ship. Lucky for me, I was in here when it all went down. <laughs> That's the story, huh? It's not a story. The prisoners escaped and took over the ship. You know, you're the first person we found. You might be the only human survivor on this ship. The only human? Uh-huh. Go to it, Marines. Has policy on taking Covenant prisoners changed, Smith? I don't think we got that memo. It wasn't a widely circulated memo. No shit. Look, I'm just the medical officer. I don't set policy. I just set broken bones and clean wounds. That's all. What would the Mona Lisa want with Covey prisoners anyway? For intelligence, I guess. Research and development? Know your enemy stuff. It's a war. You know that. You're a soldier, right? I don't know. I'm just a medical officer. What's the Mona Lisa doing here? Where is here? I've been in this room for I don't know how long. Where are we? Why don't you tell me the last place you were, then I'll tell you if you're still there. Didn't you come here to rescue us? Am I under arrest or something? 
You have access codes to the bridge? We're off a planet called Threshold, and we've got Covenant loose on the ship. We're following Cole protocol, taking out the nav system on the bridge. No, we need to get off the ship. You came here somehow, right? We need to get off the ship. Sorry, but that's not an option. We're going to the bridge, and you're coming with us. No, no! Please. B? This was plan B. Hang on. I'll find the other way. Shine your light down here. God, that reeks. Bilges. They're the same in every ship. Foucault would be pissed to hear you say that about the Red Horse. Well, he ain't here. It's in this direction. Lots of places to hide. Yeah. So we'll do this real careful. I've been in the ship before. This is ridiculous. Shut it. You hear that? What the hell was it? Not Covenant. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Sarge, what the hell is that? Well, McCraw, that there is a hand. No, I, I mean, what the hell is that? John, can I call you John? <clears throat> I think you know what this shit is. And I think you're gonna damn well tell me what it is. She's bleeding bad. We have to get her out of here now! Let's move to maintenance. Clarence, come on, let's go! Orloff, report! Venti! There's the door! Damn it! Look at her face. 
face. Look. Oh my God. So, John, tell me what I'm looking at. The Covenant gets sick too. We noticed this in some of them. Any prisoners displaying the symptoms were kept in isolation, just in case. We took precautions, every precaution against it. Every precaution. It made them aggressive, savage. We did some tests, managed to isolate it. An alien virus. <coughs> what the hell, man? We've been standing here breathing around this thing? It doesn't work like that. Did it jump from Covenant to human? It did. Sergeant, I'm not the enemy. Uh-huh. So, I guess you're trying to tell me that one of the infected Covenant prisoners got out and dragged some of the crew into this here closet to curl up and nap. I guess. Mahmoud, get the door. It's locked, Sarge. Be my guest. He's not infected. It's okay. Don't shoot. My name is, is Patrick Rimmer. I'm a prisoner, but I, I wasn't in for anything serious, I swear. That's a covenant you're protecting. Why the crap should we care if he's infected or not? Please, guys, please. Don't kill him. You gotta understand. He's cool. We're cool. He's my friend. He's the only one I've, I've had to talk to. The only one. He's cool. He's clean. He's cool. He's he, Please, you, you gotta understand. You gotta understand that it isn't the Covenant's fault. Not this time. We're cool. Yeah, really. If that Covey makes one wrong move, looks at us the wrong way even, it's dead. You got me? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, Henry's clean. He's okay. He's cool. He's okay. Yeah. Hey, you're Marines, right? You're gonna get us out of here, right? Excuse me, Henry? Did you just call him Henry? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know his name, but I can't understand a thing he says. I just call him Henry, and, and he calls me Rimmer, of course, because <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> Although he doesn't really pronounce it right, uh, or say much of anything, because he can't speak our language, but he's cool. No, seriously, he's, he's cool. Hey, there's more of you, right? You can get us back out, right? No, wait. You tell me, what the hell were those things back there? We're not going anywhere until you tell me what they are. He's... he's been infected. Infected? I don't feel so good. Kill Gersten. He's dog tags. Oh, forget the dog tags. You gotta rip these bodies up. That, that rip it up. Uh, that's not dead enough. Gotta destroy the body or they just come back. Don't be stupid. He's dead. He's dead. He ain't. He's infected. We gotta, we gotta take him apart or he's gonna come back. 
he's dead. You see? They come back! You leave them enough, all the important body bits, and they, they all come back. And me and Henry here, we're the last ones. They, they didn't know we were here, but now you've let them know. I mean, okay, I, I, I'm not blaming you. Not really, but they'll they'll try to get in. We have to move. There, there, there are more of you coming, right? Right. There another way out of here? Yeah, but, but we've heard them outside that hatch too. Uh, Just show us the way out. We'll have to chance it. You're on a prison transport, so you must be a badass. Grab Gerson's gun and use it. Not that badass. Nobody's that badass. He touched it. I'm not touching it. I'm not going near it. Ugh. What about Henry? Henry deserves a better weapon. Let him keep his cricket bat, and he can be the one on point. If he doesn't like it, tough. Henry, Rimmer, me, and Clarence, in that order. One of us drops. We leave them, but we make sure they don't come back. Covenant are not in charge of this ship. The Flood got out. There's no one in charge of this ship anymore. Never hit someone in the jaw, Macraw. But you just did, Sarge. How careless of me. You know what that thing was, you lying son of a bitch. Virus in my ass. Mahmoud, search him again. Take off his shoes. Check his tidy whities if you have to. Check his damn body cavity. Huh. Office of Naval Intelligence, Section 3, Major John Smith. Research and development. Just wait. Officer on deck, soldiers. Why didn't you identify yourself, sir? Let's cut the bull crap, Sergeant. I outrank you. It doesn't matter why I didn't give you my rank to begin with. Effective immediately, we abandon ship. <coughs> I cannot be infected. I'm privy to highly classified intelligence. We abandon ship, return to the Red Horse, and destroy the Mona Lisa from a safe distance. I know you had to come here on something. The Pelican? Probably in the hangar right now, waiting for you? That's an order, Sergeant. I have soldiers aboard. I cannot contact, sir. There have been many casualties in this war. There'll be many more. Shit! We're going to the bridge! No spook is gonna leave my kids in the dark. Benty would haunt us if we did, and she'd be a real annoying ghost. Damn, that stings. Any questions? Um... Yeah, Macraw? Can I hit him too, Sarge? Helm, bring us up on the Mona Lisa, quietly. I want Sergeant Fugazi and two squads prepped and ready for dust off as soon as we're alongside. Commander, what are you doing? Our orders specifically state that if recon or a loss of recon indicates the Mona Lisa has been compromised beyond retrieval, the Red Horse is authorized and required to destroy the ship, regardless of passengers. Yes, Rebecca. I'm aware of our orders. Commander, the lack of response from the sergeant's team indicates a loss of recon. It's time to reassess the situation. I've been given my orders, but I have not been granted any information with which to assess the situation. We are to destroy the Mona Lisa if it is compromised, but by what I do not know. Covenant. Sergeant Lopez and her team are more than capable of handling the Covenant presence on board that ship. No, I say again, I have not been given any information that would warrant firing on one of our own ships with our soldiers aboard. Prep a pelican, bring up the red horse. I suspect you could tell me what I need to know, and I suspect you will not. Thus, I see no alternative but to conduct further recon. You were right. We do send our soldiers to their deaths, but we do not willingly abandon our own, Rebecca. We do not turn and leave them. You're getting spittle on my projector. Once I have all the facts, then I'll reassess the situation. And part of that reassessment will be to determine if you are fit for duty, given your current conduct. Your activation date was, as I recall, more than six years ago. Okay. Somewhere private, Commander. I have something to show you. 
Something you won't want your crew to see. Breaker! Please take me back to the Pelican. I know you're still in there. I know you can hear me. You don't want to do this. Please, please help me. If you just put me down, I could do the rest. I can find the Sarge. I can explain it. It's a mistake. Hell of a big virus. Not a virus. More of an infestation. It came with the Covenant prisoners and just spread. The more bodies they took over, the more... Taking over bodies? The Flood. Their infection forms get under a person's skin, making them a host. Then it begins to assimilate them entirely. It wipes their memories, but retains some of their knowledge. Once the Flood completely controls host bodies, right down to a cellular level, it transforms them into a weapon. A form infected by flood is difficult to stop. They don't register pain, don't require all organs functioning, are fueled by such rage that even when disabled, they're extremely dangerous, mindless as animals, less than animals. Concealed door. There's a scanner at eye level here. So helpful all of a sudden. The sooner you get to the bridge, the sooner I get off this ship. This leads to the labs. We can get through from here. Mahmoud? I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay, here. It looks like ventilation shafts leading... Yeah, yeah, there's a couple other access points. We can get to the bridge through here. What were you doing here? I told you, research and development, like Oni's always done. You should be thanking me. We came up with some interesting data that will help us maximize the damage inflicted by our weapons on the Covenant. They've developed a natural resistance to the radiation put out by their plasma weapons, a forced evolution from the look of it. With further research, we'll be able to use it against them, and to help us treat plasma burns, too. Yeah, right. What about your flood? The flood is pure of intent, <laughs> relentless, almost primordial. <laughs> And it is like a virus, spreads as fast as one. I had to study it. We had to study it. <coughs> so we used Covenant. Keep talking. We were looking for weaknesses, a cure, an antibody, anything. We only had one infected Covenant, but we needed to see how it worked, how it spread. Just, it's strong. It's so strong. You were testing on prisoners? Such measures will be what wins us the war. Don't tell me you're getting soft for an alien race now, Sergeant. We face extinction. We have to win this war, no matter what the cost. You weren't trying to cure Coveys. This is a prison ship. A civilian prison ship. You were testing on human prisoners. It's a big bad universe, Sergeant. Covenant aren't the worst of them. You've done what you thought was necessary. And now, so have I. Where the hell are we? Guards team room? God's waiting room? <laughs> I didn't really get a tour of the ship, you know. You said flood before. What did you mean? Some uniform came on board. He was with Oni. After that, we, we weren't allowed out of our cells. Uh, I think they brought the Coveys on board then. We could hear them talking. We could smell them, too. Sorry, Henry. No one told us anything. Not even the guards knew what was going on. We made some slip space jump to here, wherever here is. They started taking people, you know. And Coveys, they didn't seem to care if we saw the Coveys then. I think they figured we weren't going anywhere and it didn't matter what we knew. The aircon on this ship, you know how it is. It, it carries the noise funny. We heard things. No one they took ever came back. None of them. Nothing good ever comes from Oni. There was a guard. Fat asshole named Murray. He found out about the flood. Some new 
biological weapon. I don't know, something they were studying here with us. Something happened, I don't know. I think the Coveys made a break for it or something. And in all the chaos, I guess the flood got out. The Coveys let some of us out too, which might surprise you, but by then we'd all been through the same stuff. We all got the same fate on this ship. And you've been hiding ever since? A day, I think. Maybe two? You lose track of time real fast around here. <laughs> I bet. We gotta get off this ship. Soon, you know? What's down there? Yeah, D-cell block. <laughs> I think the engines are uh, behind. We should find a different way. What for? <laughs> That's where they took all the dead. It'd be like going into an angry beehive. That one's on me, not you. Let's move. I heard something. Talk to me. Give me a flare. Thing, go for the legs. McCraw, take out the heart. And I got the head. Too, Sarge. Objective hasn't changed, kid. Henry was the one who sprung me out. There was a uh, one of the guards. She's been. Uh, she, she, she wasn't. Uh, but he took her out. Uh, saved me. He's a good guy, really. They learn. They take what you know and learn. Thanks, Henry. Frame. We haven't been able to defeat the Covenant in nearly three decades, and yet here we are. We've returned here for the sole purpose of seeking this out, this greater threat. I don't believe it was in the original brief. The Oni agent heading the research project aboard the Mona Lisa seems to have exceeded his parameters. Significantly. And we still don't know for sure. Is there any more? No. But now you understand. We cannot deploy any more Marines. Not without explicit confirmation. We cannot risk the Red Horse. Video play. We do not willingly abandon our own. Sarge, the door! I see it. here. 
don't think anyone's gonna use the nav system. Guess we can go home now? Almost there, Macraw. Let's scan for intel before we move on. Looks like communications is intact. Good. Give me radio contact then. I don't care how, and I don't care who. Benty, Burgundy, the Red Horse, help raise the damn Covenant ship. Just get me someone to talk to. Private, get to it. Yes, sir. We need security clearance to access this comms. Let's see if they'll throw me in the brig for impersonating an officer. Now get cracking. the red horse she's talking oh yeah she's talking what about Benty and burgundy i couldn't raise either of them but the intercom is online in most of the ship patch this through maybe someone will hear Loud and clear, Rebecca. Is the commander there? I am. The situation here Sir, is... Sir, I got all the recon you'll ever need. This ship is Oni, with a certain Major John Smith most recently in charge. Section 3 sent it here to experiment with the flood encountered on Halo. Oni might not have known about all of Major Smith's project enhancements, but at the very least they came to secure a sample so they could study it. And they brought guinea pigs with them too. Under his orders, they've been deliberately infecting human prisoners and... and Covenant prisoners, too. Coveys and civilians, our own. Infecting them and turning them into these damn monsters, these zombies. And no one told us. I know, Sergeant. What? The Major Smith you refer to is en route to the Red Horse. In your pelican, he has informed us of the situation. Sir. Major Smith did fail to mention that any of you had survived. Bastard! He's a liar, and a traitor, and a war criminal. Everyone who died on this ship, my kids, the crew, if not for him, they might still be alive. Rebecca has verified his story. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Having witnessed this flood firsthand, Sergeant, what's your assessment? If it were to reach one of the outer colonies, for example? I'm not paid to think, sir. Remember. Nevertheless. We have no defense against such a foe. Any planet infected by the Flood would be overrun in a matter of days. More food for the Flood. More knowledge of where to find food. They retain all useful information. You know this to be true. The Flood represents the greatest threat to humanity since the Covenant. A cure must be sought. A cure? There is no goddamn cure. According to the files, this was never about a cure. This was about control. About creating mindless monster soldiers you could control. Who knows what Smith was doing that isn't in the record, but a cure? If you'd seen what we've seen... We have, Sergeant. We have. Our orders are to destroy the Mona Lisa. We can't allow any of the Flood to survive. 
Rebecca has informed me that there are two remaining escape pods on the lower deck. The launching mechanisms appear disabled, so they may need manual releasing. Once Major Smith is on board, you will have until we are in position and the Shiva missile is armed, and then we will open fire. We can't delay any further. The Major has brought the attention of the Covenant capital ship upon us. Eight, maybe ten minutes, Sergeant. Good luck. You know what you can do with your own luck. That went out over the ship's comm? Yeah, it should've. Let's hope someone was alive to hear it. Hustle. We blow through some space zombies, get cozy in a pod, and we're gonna live, McCall. We're gonna live. We're gonna get back to the Red Horse. And then, we're gonna tear the Commander a new one. Two new assholes. One for you, and one for me. And then we're gonna find Smith. And we're gonna take our time with him. And then when we're done with him, then what? And then there's shore leave, Sarge. Damn straight. to destroy it. That thing they just shoved burgundy into, I think... Uh, I don't know. I, I think they're trying to somehow hotwire the slip space engine without bridge control. We have to destroy it. And even if not, that engine is important to them somehow. We have to take care of it. That's a slip space drive. <laughs> we don't want to mess with that. <laughs> Major Smith is secure on board. What should we do with him? Let's keep him in solitary for a while. Doesn't it help to know the Major may have acted on his own? Oni isn't responsible for this. This was never meant to happen, and the very fact we are here shows that Oni is acting in good faith. He'll be court-martialed. Maybe even worse. No. No, it doesn't. Smith may have acted on his own, as you say. Or he may have been following orders, and Section 3 will now use him as a scapegoat and wash their hands of the matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change a thing. Telling them about the pods was a pointless gesture. Under the circumstances, Oni's operative won't let them get to the pods. We don't even know if he's still alive. Commander, picking up a detonation within the transport. I think the slip space engine has been ruptured. We need to withdraw before it goes completely. Sir, we need to withdraw to a safe distance. No. Not yet. Sir. No. We stay. We stay until the last second. We don't abandon our own. lousy shot. Which way? Keep moving. Reload! Lacroix? Benji, who's alive? Clarence, and some survivors. One deck to go. Get your ass in gear. This ship isn't gonna wait. Yes, sir! Of us, some of them. What are we gonna do? Benji's taking her sweet time. So short legs. Sarge, we're coming! Don't shoot! Please don't shoot! 
Sarge! Don't shoot! Henry's okay! Don't shoot! McCraw, do not take your finger off that trigger. What's this covey bastard doing here? You said survivors. got to be oni i'm not surprised nothing personal there were never meant to be any survivors venti get down you can walk henry put her down venti you're hurt bad clarence drop your rifle it's two against one Henry can have my shore leave. Venti! No! Let's dance. 